Hey guys, it's Melinda from Simple Life Big Adventures. Um, today we're going to do a little modification with Big Toe. We are going to add short access power to the inside of Big Toe and we're not going to drill any external holes into the body of the van. We're going to try to install the internal plug on our panel over here, kind of underneath the bed. We hope this is going to be kind of an easy modification but we're going to take you along with us and show you step by step. Before our modification, we had to run the power cable through a cracked window every night. It's not terrible. And after the modification, all we do is plug in underneath Big Toe and into the power post. Okay, so I've showed you where we're going to install the internal plug. So let's look underneath where the external plug is going to come. Ford has these two open panels underneath here. You can see this one, it's kind of rubber plasticky, right there's one of the panels and then over here is the second one. We've already pulled the second panel because we had to do some pre-install work to make the external plug work. Let's start with a walkthrough of what you'll need. This is going to be our internal plug. We chose the plug with two outlets and two USB outlets. The external plug, uh, this will be underneath the van. The plus to this plug is this um, extra protection from the elements once you plug it in there. We're not going to get rain and dirt in there. We did a little bit of pre-install work on one of the rubber panels. We used a two inch hole cutter cut in here and we'll show you how this all goes together once we start putting it together. And then we have the three inch hole cutter for the panel over here that we're going to cut into. And then we use a six millimeter socket to get into the kick panel here in the rear of the van. All right, let's start the project by removing the rear kick plate. So many of you know that we bought Big Toe Used, so don't be surprised what you find when you remove this rear kick plate. We're going to start removing the trim. We're going to pull this seat belt cover trim straight out. It pops out and you want to be really careful not to break your tab off on the bottom side there. We're going to re remove the interior trim over the rear air conditioner unit and then this second piece of trim over the black panel wall here where we're going to put the interior plug. Uh, I, I've not done this before. So from what I've seen is you raise the floor up, there's a little bit of lip under the floor, and you take this piece of trim, should just pop out. <laughs> we got one to pop. Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing on this one. All right guys, we got this interior trim piece off of the rear air conditioner. It was not easy, not easy at all. It's again, like the smaller pieces we pulled off, you're gonna want to pull straight out on this trim piece and be careful not to break all of these little tabs off on the back. And I believe there are tabs also underneath on this small piece that we have to pull off. And we ended up having to pull the bottom of this loose and then working this edge off that was tucked under there. All right, here goes the second piece. Recording my stop again because I don't want to break anything. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know what I'm doing. We've got all of this bottom. It may have to... No, I don't know. And again, on this second trim piece. I thought we were going to break it. It is very difficult to remove. Just be very careful. Pull straight out on your panel, on your, uh, <coughs> what is it called? Interior? Trim, yeah. Yes. 
just pull straight out on your interior trim because you, it's tucked right in here in those holes and then there's middle holes for the tabs that that are going to feel like they're not going to come loose so just be prepared for that to gain access behind our panel that we're going to put our plug on we're going to have to remove some of these tabs here i think this is the way you're supposed to do it does it come all the way out you think i don't think so We're gonna pull this panel out. <laughs> all right, that works, that works. Okay, we've got all of our trim tabs removed and that gives us access behind, oh look, even more access. Gives us access to the, um, behind the panel. Okay, we're gonna use our three inch hole saw to make a spot right in this panel. But we wanna measure the front side of the panel so that we don't hit any of the metal part of the van behind the panel. We've taken our measurements from this top trim hole here, and we've decided that about three and a half inches down is going to help us miss the metal this direction and the upper direction. And on top of that, there's a little panel of um, insulation, sound deafening on the inside of this black panel. So we went ahead and removed that so it doesn't get tangled up in the hole saw. All right, moment of truth. I've never used a hole saw before, so here we go. We're gonna put the uh, drill bit on our little mark three and a half inches down from the hole. All right, I'm on there, right? We're gonna go slow. Break. Tighten up our little hole saw. All right, let's try it again. Put it on our pre-measure, pre-marked hole and go a little slow. All right, we're punched through. Ready for the hole? Boom! <laughs> oh, it's hot! <laughs> it's got a good long cord, which you'll see. We're gonna run it through the bones of the van and down behind the air conditioner. Take this panel. We'll run our cord through the hole. Mm. Mm. Okay, so our hole doesn't fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Okay, so we filed a little bit of the inner edge off just to make it make a little more room in there for our outlet. I think I got it. Let's try it again. Run our cord through here. It's still a tight fit, but you kind of want it to be. It does have threads, but I was just trying to push it through there without using, twisting up my cord too bad back here on the back. All right, here we go. We've got our outlet in there. Which way do you want it oriented? Do we need up? Scotty's in the background helping me here. <laughs> That's the way I like it. All right. All right so put your We've back. Got it on. in there. So now we want to put this. You want to show them up close what that is? <laughs> okay. So here's the back plate for the electrical outlet, and we're gonna run it up the cord. Is that the way it goes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess it kind of help holds it in place back here. Okay, make sure your orientation is still right before you tighten it down. Let's make sure it's still straight. My OCD has to be straight. All right, we've got the start of internal power for Big Toe. We have our um, internal plug here. We're gonna take this long cord and run it behind the ribs of the fan. 
We're going to feed it through slowly. All right, got it stretched there. And we're going to drop it through the bottom. <laughs> and then this is kind of a tricky part but you're going to thread it behind your air conditioner unit and there's a hole in the very bottom back here it comes up by the bottom and it comes out underneath the van okay scotty's going to take the camera underneath and see the cord drop through Ready? Wiggle it around. Do you see it yet? Yep. Is it feeding? I think I got it. Yeah, I see it. Is it feeding? Yeah. I'm slowly feeding it. No, I think you got it. Yep. Or it slid good. <laughs> Yay! Woo! <laughs> Oh, that's not an easy task either. <laughs> okay, again, here is our external cover that came from underneath the van. And this is our external plug. And we're gonna feed it down through here. We're gonna screw it into our plate. And then we're gonna feed the cord up and plug into the internal plug that we just ran. And we should have power. Here is our cord from the internal outlet that we ran behind the air conditioner and out the little open panels on the bottom. And here is our external plug that we have done a little bit of securing to so it'll hopefully hold up better underneath the van. And we're just gonna plug them together here. All right. Where the two cords come together, we're gonna wrap duct tape around just so that they stay together. We're gonna tuck it back up inside and we're gonna put the duct tape on there just so they stay together. Okay, let's feed our cord back up in there. Okay, so I've fed our cord up in there. Our external power, when we need to plug the van in, we're just gonna be able to open this cover and plug right in. We've got our power. We're gonna plug into the van. I hope we don't have to lay on the ground like this at every campground we go to. All right. All right, we're plugged in. So let's see if we have power to our outlet. Ready? Moment of truth. <laughs> yeah! So that is Shore Power Access to Big Toe. We've had a good time doing this video, um, but now it's time to put it back together. We want to give a quick shout out to the YouTube channel, Brian Marks. He is the channel that I watched to do this video, and the links that he gave us to the internal outlet and the external outlet will be in the description below. If you found value in the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or just any comments on the, the project that we did today, please leave it below and we'll make an honest attempt to answer any questions you may have.